news. Finally, finally, Nigerian government agrees to extradite Haba Kiari to the U.S. The Nigerian government has approved the request by the state, the United States government, for the extradition of the disgraced Deputy Commissioner of Police, DCP Haba Kiari. Kiari was accused of committing white fraud, money laundry, and identity thief. He was also accused of working with one Raymond Habers, aka Osh Poppy, who has pleaded guilty to internet fraud. A grand jury in April 2021 filed an indictment against Kiari with the approval of the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California on Wednesday. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, filed an application before the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja for Kiari's extradition. The application marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 249 slash 2022 was filed under the extradition act. I O Nigeria reports. The AGF said the application followed a request by the diplomatic representative of the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. It is for the surrender of Habakiri, who is a subject in a superseding three count indictment. Recently, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA also secured the arrest and detention of Kiari and five other officers in connection with a drug deal. In the affidavit, filed in support of the extradition application, the AGF stated that he was satisfied that the offense is in respect of which Kiari's surrender in soft is not political, nor it is trivial. The AGF also expressed satisfaction that a request for the surrender of Habakiri was not made to persecute, persecute or punish him on account of his race, religion, nationality, or political opinions, but in good faith and in the interest of justice. He added that Kiari, if surrendered, will not be prejudiced at his trial and will not be punished, detained or restricted in his personal liberty by reason of his race, nationality or political opinions. The AGF said, having regard to all the circumstances in which the offense was committed, it was not be unjust or oppressive or to be severe a punishment to surrender him. Malami said he was also satisfied that Kiari has been accused of the offense for which he surrendered his soft. He noted that there was no criminal proceeding pending against Kiari in Nigeria for the same offense. According to the court documents, the, the charge filed along with the extradition application reads, Count one, conspiracy to commit wire fraud in violation of Title 18, the United States Code, Session 1349, carrying a maximum term of imprisonment of 20 years. Count two, conspiracy to commit money laundry in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Session one nine five six H in bracket, carrying a maximum term of imprisonment of twenty years. Count three, aggravated identity thief, and heading and abetting that offence in violation of Title eighteen United States Code Section one zero two eight A in bracket one in bracket and two in bracket carrying maximum term of imprisonment of two years. In the request for Kiare's extradition, the U.S. Embassy stated, 
on April 29, 2021, based on the indictment filed by the grand jury with the approval of the United States Courts for the Central District of California, the deputy clerk of the court issued a warrant of arrest for Kihari. The arrest warrant remains valid and executable to apprehend Kihari for the crimes with which he is charged in, in the indict, indictment. Kihari is wanted to stand trial in the United States for conspiracy to commit wired fraud and money laundry and identity thief. Kiare is the subject of an indictment in case number 221CR00203, also referred to as the 221MJ00760 and 221CR00203 RJK, filed application 29, 2021 in the United States District Court for the Central District of California. The Embattled Super Corp has challenged the order made on February 2022 by Justice Zainab Abubakar of the Federal High Court Abuja, empowering NDLA to detain him for 14 days in the first instance. In application filed by his lawyer, Kiari wants the court to set aside the order for his detention, urging that the order was issued without him being accorded a fair hearing. The court has scheduled a hearing in KRA's application for March 8th. <laughs> okay, this is a very good one. This is a good news for KRA and his group. Let him go and see what is going on there. You see, this life, eh? hmm. you know they know I'm finished. Buari have seen that Americans don't joke with sanction. <laughs> is a lesson from Russia invasion of Ukraine. They should send this man to America and go and answer for his crime. Okay, that is it. So guys, I'm dropping it. And they should not forget that that's for the offense he committed against Americans. He should also be prosecuted for the offense he committed against Nigerians. Yeah, he will not escape it. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.